Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. If you've ever wondered how to push your games beyond their designed FPS, then there is a simple way to do it in the world of emulation. Using Simu, a Wii U emulator, I'll show you how we can tinker and play around with the frame rate of just about any game. Today I'm going to be showing you how this works in Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart already runs at a native 60fps, which is the expected standard, especially in PC gaming. But why if you're part of that ever-growing niche who have monitors capable of more than 60Hz? Perhaps your monitor's limit is 60, but you love experimenting. Either way, let's take a drive around a few tracks and see what my system is able to push out. You'll find my specs in the description below. The first major caveat which has to be pointed out straight away is that a lot of games tie physics to frame rate. That means that if you go above or below the intended FPS of a given title, then your experience will either speed up or slow down. Some games are dynamic in the sense of their performance, but Mario Kart 8 does not seem to be, at least in this instance, on a PC in a Wii U emulator. If you take a look at the top left of the screen, I've included an on-screen display detailing the real-time system output when playing. The OSD shows CPU, GPU and memory usage as well as FPS and per core utilization. If you're curious about what the program is, I'm using MSI Afterburner with River Tuner Statistics Server. What I've done is set the FPS limit in CMU to 240 using a simple command which you can enter in any graphic pack which in turn must be active before playing. I noticed that when setting the limit to 120 the maximum in-game FPS would be stuck at 60 so 240 for me was a must. If you test the same method in Wind Waker for example, setting the upper limit to 120 will result in 60 FPS and no matter how high I went I couldn't surpass 60. But remember, in a lot of cases this particular command is mostly for testing and experimentation as game behaviour and experience will most likely not be one you want for extended periods as it has the potential to break many in-game mechanics. So getting back to Mario Kart 8. I really wanted to push beyond 100 FPS in terms of gameplay, but I just wasn't able to do it. But interestingly, there wasn't a definitive bottleneck I could point to. Sometimes you find yourself at the mercy of code, whether it be Simu or something within the game design itself. This is where I want you guys to jump in. If the issue is my system, then you try Mario Kart 8 or any game of your choice and see how far you can push the FPS. If you can, make a video and link it and I'll definitely check it out. You may find that FPS changes a little bit depending on the track. Also remember that the FPS video limit on YouTube is 60. As always, a full shader cache is recommended for stutter free gaming. Let me show you how we edit the graphic pack to achieve this FPS change. Open your CMU folder. Go to Graphic Packs and as we're editing Mario Kart, we're going to go down to Mario Kart. Uh, I'm going to pick the 1080p resolution pack. You can pick any one you want. And all we need to do is open the rules folder. Uh, let's just make a little space here. And this is the command that we're going to use. Uh, control VSync frequency equals. And this number can be 60, 120, 240, 480 try and keep it in a logical multiplier for the purposes of this video we're going to do uh, 240 and just click save now the next thing to do is to open up simu go to graphic packs and of course because we've edited the 1080 we need to turn it on so let's go to graphic packs uh, as you can see i'm using simu 1.13.0 f for this demonstration so down to Mario Kart and we want to find the 1080 pack. Okay, so now that we've turned it on before we start the game, let's load up the game and you'll see. Uh, okay, I've got Fraps on, so Fraps will give us an idea of the overall um, FPS in game. Now what you'll find is there will be a difference between the FPS that you see in the menu and the FPS in game. Now the menu is typically the easiest way to see this maximum number that you have set. So we should hope to see 240 in the menu, but in game we're looking around 80 
FPS. Now I don't have any specific settings to recommend other than in options and general, make sure that VSync is turned off. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is necessary, but in experimental, um, RDTSC seems to have been a bit temperamental for me in some cases. So as you can see, we have a higher, a fairly high FPS just in the menu. But once we get in game, um, we, I've been typically seeing around 80 FPS. So let's just get in there, shall we? And you'll see exactly what I mean. So like I say, no particular settings and the command itself is very, very easy. Okay, so let's just let the race start and you'll see that we're getting around 80 FPS in game. If I press start on the menu, it will jump all the way up to 240. Now, the method I've shown you here involves a very simple command. However, let's say you're not happy with that command. Uh, you know, you don't want to make any edits. I've also made a very, very simple Mario Kart 8 TCG unlocked FPS. So I'll also provide that down below. If we go into graphic packs, we can just throw that in there. And then what we'll do is open up Simu and we can actually turn off our resolution pack that we previously used for Mario Kart 8. So we will just get the default resolution um, of the game. Okay, so let's go down to graphic packs. We'll turn off 1080 and we'll turn on my TCG unlocked FPS. So, okie dokie, yeah, there we go. So that's the only graphic pack that we're using for Mario Kart 8. And you'll see that once we get in game, um, it has the same effect. So that's the only pack that we have on and it will do exactly what we've just seen with that simple command. So you have two, you, you have two choices basically. You can either use the pack I've provided to make things easy for yourself or you can edit that command in just about any graphic pack that should need that needs to be active before you start a game of your choice. Now the thing to remember is we're focusing on Mario Kart here but that command can actually be used in just about any game. But of course, because the physics seems tied to the FPS, you often do get an unnatural speed. This command is fairly primitive and unrefined in its execution. However, there are examples in the SEMU community of 60 FPS being achieved correctly. The glaringly obvious title being The Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thanks to the graphic pack FPS++, but even with the dynamic FPS, certain physics-based elements still behave incorrectly. Other titles which have 60 FPS patches are Xenoblade Chronicles X and Hyrule Warriors. The current issue with Xenoblade Chronicles X, however, is that it's limited to single-core CPU recompiler, meaning that very few users can maintain or even reach 60 FPS. So even when time is dedicated to a single game and the code injected through a graphic pack to provide a higher frame rate, not necessarily designed for that title, it's still a challenge to do it accurately. You may have also seen static FPS packs, which actually perform with much greater stability and consistency and something that I recommend. All three games mentioned have these static FPS packs. However, the one caveat is that if your system cannot reach and maintain that frame rate, anything below that number, whether it be 30 or 60, will result in a slowdown in game physics. So you should definitely test the capabilities of your system. If your system can reach to the desired number, then the benefit is a very smooth experience. Naturally, the argument can be made that this is why we, the emulation community, exist to tweak, tinker, find improvements, and get every last drop of performance out of an emulator that we can, pushing games to their absolute and often unintended limits to see what type of experiences can be achieved. Obviously, with my system, the on-screen display reported a fairly consistent 80 FPS, up by 20 from the native 60 that Mario Kart 8 runs at. That 20 FPS increase does lead to unnatural speed and gameplay. However, I believe that the difference is fairly low impact given that we're playing a racing game and perhaps provides a sped up experience you might enjoy. I should add that don't be surprised if you experience crashes or strange game or emulator behavior. If you'd like to know more about specific game frame rate defaults, you can check out the great forum thread linked below by Pickle Rick. So there's my two cents on adjusting FPS in Simu in any game you want. 
make sure to give it a try by simply adding that command in any graphic pack related to a game of your choice. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. Complaining Gamer social media links are also there. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. And to stay up to date with all things emulation, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.